We all know that Manchester United need to sign a new centre-back this summer. In my opinion, somebody who can complement Harry Maguire. And it looks like United are finally making moves to sign one. Benoit Badiashil. Manchester United have put a bid in for the 19-year-old Monaco centre-back. But who is he? How good is he? What sort of centre-back is he? Where are the stories coming from? Are they reliable? I'll answer all of those questions in this transfer update video. So please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you share this video with all the other Reds on Facebook. But let's talk about Benoit Badiashil and where these transfer rumours came from. The story itself was originally broken by Mohamed Bouhafsi. He said that Monaco had rejected a 25 million offer from United for Badiashil and that Monaco's manager, Niko Kovac, has told the board he should stay no matter what. And the first question a lot of you will ask is, is Bahafsi reliable? Now, Bahafsi is tier one. If you do remember, he was the man, I believe, who broke Martial to United. Out of nowhere, Bahafsi led with that story and obviously was completely spot on. So he does have a reliable history when it comes to United and Monaco players. And speaking of Martial, Bahafsi went into a little bit more detail and he said that a source close to Monaco indicates that Badiashir will stay unless Manchester make a Martial-like, unrefusable bid for him. And also says that Bayer Leverkusen are expected to come in with a new bid for him. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news for Monaco, but Anthony Martial, when United signed him as an 18-year-old for 50 million, there was a lot of noise and a lot of hype around him. Not in a similar way to Kylian Mbappe, but a sort of, in terms of the players that were coming through Monaco at that time. Now, that 50 million was well spent by United. But we won't be spending that on Badiashil. He's a 19-year-old who broke properly into Monaco's first team last season. Only has a couple of Champions League appearances from two years ago. There's far less noise around him. So if Monaco are waiting for that bid, that bid will not come. So we may as well end this transfer story right now. But United have had a 25 million bid rejected for him, according to Bahasi. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But exactly who is Benoit Badiashil? Now, the 19-year-old... He's French, he was born in 2001, plays for Monaco, is a centre-back and his preferred foot is the left. Now, he's made 36 appearances for Monaco in Ligue 1. That's quite a lot, that's nearly a full season. He's only had a couple of Champions League appearances and that was the year before in his breakthrough season. So he is quite a raw defender. But according to Bahafsi, United are in for him. Now, if you do want to follow any more of the latest updates on him, make sure you download the OneFootball app. OneFootball is sponsoring this video. Big shout out to you guys for helping United People's TV. I've been a long-term user of the app. You know by now what to do. There is a link in the description. You can download the OneFootball app for free. All the latest news, all the latest stats on players like Badia Shield and any other targets that United will go after this summer, the news will be on the app. So make sure you download it. It's free. It's easy to use. It follows all the leagues. And it's a very handy place to get a lot of transfer news and a lot of transfer stats. So make sure you follow the link in the description and download it for free. But back to Badiashil. And it's interesting to look at what type of centre-back he is. Because Badiashil is a defender who can naturally step up. If you take a look at these two photos, there's a scouting report over on targetscouting.com. Shout out to those guys for making it. But you can see that he's comfortable bringing the ball out from defence and breaking the lines into midfield and passing through the lines. Now, that's something we definitely need Maguire's partner to be able to do. And if you look at his natural passing range as well, he's comfortable dinking balls over the top. He's comfortable switching it left to right. Again, that's something we need in a partner for Harry Maguire. We need our centre-backs. Modern-day centre-backs have to be capable of being deeper-lying playmakers. They're not going to be responsible for it, but they have to be comfortable with the ball at their feet. And it's something United are terrible at, is passing out from the back through our defenders. We're, we're absolutely crap at it at the moment. That needs to improve. And Badia Shield, he has a natural ability to do that. And if you look at his recovery pace as well, he's got that. And that's probably one of the most important factors, I think, in getting a partner to complement Maguire. Because Maguire does have a lack of pace that does get exposed by other defenders. But every defender has their weaknesses and they are Maguire's. Now, is Badia Shield the answer to United's problems? That's a big question mark because at 19, he would be a gamble. He would be a risk. Now, like Martial, the gambles can pay off. But like other players who have come to United, I suppose you could say the same damn thing about any signing. But right now, is a 19-year-old centre-back going to help 
our def I say look, defensive problems. We do we massively improved in our defence last year. But anybody watching United can see the pain there is when watching United play out from the back. And the defensive mistakes we made against Sevilla goes to show that at the big moments our defence still has major problems. Now, a 19-year-old centre-back, I don't know whether that is the risk to take. And if we're going to take a risk on a 19-year-old centre-back from Monaco, some of you may argue, why would we not take that risk on an 18-year-old centre-back called Ted Mengi, who's came through our academy? who Solskjaer gave his debut to right towards the end of the season. If we're going to take a gamble, would, we, would it not be better suited just to take that gamble on an academy product? And if we're going to buy a centre-back, would it not be better to just buy someone like Koulibaly or Upamecano, someone who's elite and ready, top quality to improve that starting eleven? I don't know. But according to Bahafsi, United have put in a €25 million Euro bid for Badia Shield that Monaco have rejected and they want to wait for United to come back with the big cash. That's not going to happen this summer. Not for someone who's 19 and unproven. Elite players, ready-made players like Sancho, like Upamecano, like Koulibaly, you can expect top dollar for because they are players that improve a starting eleven immediately. Someone like Badia Shield is someone who could improve United's defence immediately, but it would be a gamble. And I don't think it would be a gamble that United or any club this summer or, or most summers would spend £50 million on. That's my opinion. I might be wrong. But that is everything you need to know about the Badia Shield transfer rumours at the moment. Where they came from, Mohamed Bahafsi, whether they're reliable or not. At the moment, there's nothing else being said in the French papers. We took a look this morning. But make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, as you all are doing. Any more updates, we'll bring you them as soon as they happen. But it seems like United are making moves in the transfer market, this time for Badia Shield. Maybe we can do more than just fail to sign Jaden Sancho this summer. Isn't that exciting? Maybe we can fail to sign... Badia Shield too. All jokes aside, United are making movement and it feels like after a long time of nothingness, United in the next couple of weeks, it's going to get busy. So make sure you follow us and subscribe. Until next time though, take it easy.